We want to take an inside look at the new mechanical ejector. If you take a look at this action, you don't see anything but the addition of another pin under there, which is below the stock line. So you're not seeing it above. But this is going to allow you to, if you go slow, throw it out. Or if you go fast, it's going to eject it out harder. So you have that mechanical ejector. I didn't close it all the way, didn't shove it up into the chamber and, and push it into the bolt face. It's actually coming up under the extractor. Uh, and so if you really, it, 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 it's what a controlled round feed should do. Awesome. And you can see the cut for your mechanical ejector. Sniper's Hide here in Bennett, Nebraska. I'm at Bighorn Arms and I want to take you through a quick walkthrough of their actions. Over here on my right are the original TL2s and those feature the tactical with the heavy tang. You have the lighter trim tang version and now there's new with their TL3, the medium cut. This is the new action that will be coming out at SHOT Show, their TL3. A lot of new features in here. This features a number one mechanical ejector, which we'll take a uh, close look at. There's also some new bolt knobs. You had the original smooth and the spiral cut, the smaller. There's a diamond helical cut that's going to be featured this year. And the new pick rail on top. One of the other things they're doing for 2016 is there's now an AW cut. You can fit the AW into that. Feeds no problem takes it out and you'll see. So let's take a quick look at the TL3. Some new upgraded features, a larger ejection port, you have the solid pick rail on top, the diamond helical cut, that's all new. Back here at the bolt shroud, you can see it has the bayonet type, they've added a Bighorn logo to it. Yeah, Bighorn logo to it. But this is a mechanical ejector. I'm going to take a look at that and, and show you up close what it does. But with the bolt shroud, this is now a bayonet type, so you don't need tools to release the firing pin. Same old floating bolt head, you'll be able to remove these and swap them out to change calibers. All you have to do is knock out that pin. You're going to be using your gas block and spring with your new bolt head. You can switch it. Also, the TL3 now has a pinned rail. So your tactical action will be a pinned rail. So if you're heading a shot, take a look at the new TL3 action from Bighorn Arms. One of the great features of our Bighorn actions is utilizing the 20 threads per inch standard, uh, uh, Savage standard threads, you're able to do a quick change barrel yourself with a barrel nut. So, being that you want to change calibers, all you have to do is swap out your barrel, rehead space, and then swap out your bolts with your floating bolt heads very easily. And the new bayonet style cocking shroud allows this to be done without any tools. So, simply remove your cocking shroud and firing pin assembly, just like that. Remove the cross pin. You're going to reuse your gas block and spring washer, making sure that they face the same direction. And then, before you use, put this together, you notice it can go on to the crossbin hole 180. You want to make sure that the ejector, the extractor, matches to your port side. Reinsert the pin and your firing pin assembly. Now you're ready to screw your new barrel on and check your headspace, and you just change calibers. <laughs>